Hey, everybody. It's Cartel Tycoon again. Yeah, we're back. We're making so much money, but as you can tell, we now have the ability to at least wash it on par with the speed that we generate it, which is pretty good. Also, just naturally, I don't know if it's something I did or not, but just naturally, the prices are going back up on the global market, so I guess we're creating demand too. Ooh, exciting stuff. Now, it looks to me like my warehouse, my workshops here are just filling up with avocados. I'm overproducing avocados. I've added a few more cannabis fields, and I've upgraded them all to farm three, but it doesn't seem to be enough. So, I'm going to make sure we have plenty of cannabis by getting a plantation in here. Oh, yes. A level three plantation. And you know what? I'm kind of tempted to just sort of... Well, I was tempted to erase a whole bunch of these and just put in a level three plantation, but... I think it'll probably be okay by, to have it over and maybe in this area. And if as long as we can get like 60% fertility. Yeah, right there. 60% is fine with me. And um, I'm going to go ahead and place that down right here. Now, this is a little too far away from the residence. It can't, it can't support that. So what I'm going to actually do here is I'm going to remove the aerodrome from this residence. And then I'm going to use this as a location. And hopefully that will get it to where they will pr provide the money. All right for this thing and uh, this bad boy is going to produce a ton of cannabis for us hopefully to the point where we can dry it and get it out to people really quickly these two dryers are doing really well but i feel like with this being introduced it's going to be a little more challenging for them to keep up so i'm also going to drop in a level two drying rack and i'm going to put that i think right over here in this area kind of like be cool to fit it in here but I, I think it's probably fine to put it here and um that drying rack added we should now be able to get hopefully get stuff over to the workshops fast enough and uh it looks to me like i can also upgrade the warehouses now most of the warehouses are upgraded now i've done i've gone in got warehouse three warehouse three warehouse three and they have tons of trucks and they're all busy they're all doing things it's fantastic um this residence has also been upgraded to level two and you can see with Amarantha sitting in here, got loads of trucks in here too. So it's able to facilitate transport of money all over the place and uh, feeling good about it. Our loyalty is all the way up. Our terror is all the way down. Our money is flowing in really fast over here. They stopped, uh, they stopped guarding this place. So I've gone in and uh, I figured I'd have a few of my lieutenants just sort of, sort of chill in here. Um, I'm going to actually have Sophia come over here to the residence because she is a truck supplier. And she will help the residents move money around, hopefully. Um, let me just see what they're doing here. I really wish the residences would try to keep these buildings super full. Because then they wouldn't have to worry about overflowing themselves, right? I, I feel like that should just... I've said it before, but I kind of feel like they should just be doing that. They do keep the maintenance up, though. That's the thing. It Really, all that matters is that your next upkeep cost is in storage. It doesn't make this building go any faster by providing it with more money in storage, right? But if your residence is full and you're not able to collect more money, well, I would kind of wish you'd throw it in there. The other thing is, of course, that the cities have infinite storage as well. And so, you know, if we need to, we can always sort of say, hey, throw it in the city and just pop it in there. And I guess that's probably fine, but... You can see all these things are in here. Now, I'm not entirely sure if I need to upgrade all the residences. I don't think that's actually a thing that needs to happen. Since our loyalty is high, I really don't need her to be in the city as Peacemaker. I'm actually going to move her to this transport company because this one is kind of responsible for moving most of the goods, anyway, to the seaport here. Then there's this transport company, which does the two river piers. And um, also is connected to the village. But I don't think that's actually doing anything with the village. So I'm going to take that off and put it here instead. The village, we can just grab stuff uh, all by ourselves now. Because with the warehouse upgrade, the radius for its coverage actually covers this, this um, village now. So all I really have to do to make sure I keep supply up in this area is just purchase more goods. And then the warehouse will go ahead and collect it when it can. So that's pretty good. I've added another workshop here, uh, level two. That's processing with avocados. 
And um, there's also some vegetables in there, I guess. But um, it's processing with avocados. There's only one here that's doing chicken, and that's always full too. So we're we're just producing a lot of dried cannabis in this area, and I'm gonna need probably even more workshops. Four workshops is just not enough. I'm gonna need more, especially with my new avocado fields in here in this area. It's kind of like I just can't keep it up, and it's not even the the matter of avocados really. It's 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 dried cannabis. We're producing it way too quickly with two two dryers, two level two dryers, way too quickly. So. Um, yeah, it's time to build yet another workshop and, um, we'll go ahead and do that with level two and I can probably just stick it right here. Honestly, it's, it puts it right next to that. Uh, it'll put it right next to this transport company. So that's, that's, that's a pretty good spot. Uh, yeah, like right here. That's good. And, uh, of course we'll build that with, uh, the dirty money and have that transported as well. Okay. Let's take a look at this. We have, uh, the people in Amado. This is the Monolito de <laughs> I have no idea how to pronounce that. Um, but they are here. I'm going to call them Monolito, a.k.a. Manguito. I think I was insulting him earlier. Uh, little Mango is actually not Manguito. It's actually not an insult. Um, it's a fun fact for anyone who might be familiar with Cuba, or maybe not. Um, that's actually just like what uh, the ladies call cute boys, basically. Uh, it's some, it's like it's an older thing like it's like older population says it more than the younger population but um, in any case we're going to need to do something with the airport as well because you can see that um, no empty space for avocado the stash is maxed out and there's just not able to send it fast enough through this port so uh, I do also want to get the river pier uh, set up as well to get that going and have more slots and Send it over there instead, because uh, clearly we cannot wash it fast enough here. There's also another option, which is spending more money. And I, I need to make sure I'm not crowding my... Well, it doesn't matter, because the existing construction projects will finish anyway. Um, I'd like to get... It sounds sounds a little silly to, to have it, but I'd like to have my own airport right next to this airport. Because it can do great things. It can it can move things a little faster, I think, too. So I can put this like right up against this and just have it fly out of here over the city. And um, it'll be in range of the... Well, it's in range of this residence anyway. Um, but it'll be, you know, something we can connect to transport companies and all sorts of things. And we can just, you know, send stuff out of another location. So that residence automatically covers it. Uh, it should be good to go. All right, I need the autosave to quit so I can move Paulina. Come on, autosave. Come on, you can do it. They have to fix this. It's just, it's a terrible experience. Um, let's move. Uh, it's over here. They're trying to take this plantation. Do I just let them do it? The thing about this is like, every time I let them take something, it's, it's an opportunity to weaken them that I have not taken, right? And I can weaken them. And I probably should weaken my enemies. Um, it's, uh, it doesn't have to be, uh, it doesn't have to be this way, right? Why don't we have you deliver some cash? I don't know how much you can actually hold. I think these little notches are how much you can hold in one. Yeah. So each one of these little notches are a single car load. I can also click the car and he'll do that much. Um, I'm going to have you bring this money over to the bank. And then from the bank, we'll have you respond to this. Uh, Paulina, you're going to go and respond. I think we're going to go ahead and, uh, defend this. We'll have Capo come over here to do it too. Colby can help out. And um, Amarantha is apparently not getting paid. Is that a thing? No, she's getting paid. She's sitting in this residence and it doesn't have any money in it. Ah, okay. I like, I, I actually prefer just having my lieutenants paid with legal cash, you know? Um, there have been some, there have been some situations like uh, this guy, for example, who has always been upkept with dirty money. And it's because this guy has consistently been sitting in a place where money is basically coming in. So he's consistently sitting in the seaport, for example, here. Um, if they're going to be doing that, then I can just, you know. Yeah, I can do that. So, um, Also, real quick before we get started on this, I, I told you I'd update you on what we're doing here. I got it paused, but I can probably just let it run at this point. Um, I'm actually going to move her over here so we can just take care of this now. And you know what? Let's have uh, you're plus three, you're plus two. So we'll have Nacho Libre can come over here too. Just come over here and help us with this fight. I'm not sure we need it. 
but yeah it's already 12 so this should bump us up above where we need and then this one will just make it go faster so i think we're good now uh 18 plus yep that's where we need to be to be tied so that'll hold him off for a bit hector get over here and help now we'll beat him really quickly so it's a stagnant or a stalemate right now but yeah as these guys get in there it'll be faster okay so here is Ooh, look at this Eee. Okay, I think I need something else going on here. Can we have a more direct route to this? Potentially. And then also maybe a direct route from here. Um, and then you can have a direct route here too. So if, if you if you are going to send the crop, you know, I, I honestly, I, I need another warehouse. I think I, I need more trucks here. So um, we'll just do a warehouse level three right here. And then we'll also go ahead and connect it there. And it's already connected here. So we'll just go like that. And uh, probably like this, just to speed up. Okay, that'll get built and we'll be fine. The other thing I've done, as I said, I would upgrade, uh, update you guys, is I have now promoted Paulina. She is promoted now. Uh, and But I've given her the assassination skill like we talked about. So uh, we at least have somebody that can do that. Now, silent assassination is almost pointless, um, and we won't be able to get it because, again, we don't get access to the skill unless she becomes the capo. The thing about this, though, is since I've already given her assassination, I kind of don't want her to become the capo because these, the skill is a waste. So if our organization falters for some reason and we die out, Colby will most likely be the guy who becomes capo. And it's, it's a shame because... Like, I, I didn't think about this ahead of time. I probably should have made Paulina have the power because she has the skill. But it, it was just this balance of trying to figure out how do I make it functional now? I don't intend to lose my capo, and I don't believe I will. So I think Cesar is going to remain in power for the rest of this gameplay. Um, but if for some reason something happens in that way, um, I can move Colby up uh, or I can move Paulina up. It doesn't really matter which one. Um, but I'm not going to get much benefit out of moving either one of them now because I opted to take assassination. So it's a little bit kind of a whatever. Situationally bad. If he dies, that was a bad decision. If he never dies, this is a good decision. You know? All right. Anyway, we have a promotion available. Uh, and, you know, honestly, Hector's not very happy, so I might move him up too. Um, but we don't get anything for him. So I'm looking for people who give me something in return for the promotion. Um Nacho Libre does have silent assassination, but I don't need it because we already have the regular assassination. That's fine. Sophia could give me the dried cannabis dealer, which is pretty good. Making more cannabis deals is great because we are really pushing that out there. And I could do back-to-back -back cannabis deals, constantly inflating the price forever, which would be cool. I could triple the price on the market of dried cannabis and do it with her. And then when hers expires, I can do it with Amarantha. When Amarantha's expires on the cooldown, we have Sophia's back again, right? So we could just flippy flop between those two things and the cooldowns would just keep alternating. So I like this idea. Um, we don't really get much out of her later on either. Tariq is a very good upgrade and I'm really tempted to do this because again, we get truck supplier. Um, just more trucks on the road is it's great. We don't have to pay for gas, so more trucks on the road it's just a flat upgrade. And then Ahiga is kind of useless to me. I, I don't need this upgrade. This isn't really that helpful uh, for the end of cost. And so I'm, uh, yeah, I'm thinking we we go with um, with Tariq here. He's also been with us for like the longest. So I'm thinking I upgrade him um, because it gives me access to this. Now, once we do that, we have to figure out who else we can promote here because this spot's gonna open up. And I was leaning towards Hector, but I'm not really sure I'm gonna get him promoted again for the truck supplier. And then there's obviously the assassination, not really worth it. These two are useless to me. Um, for Felipe, these two are useless to me. So it doesn't matter. For Wagner, again, useless to me. And so finally we come to Kumar. And Kumar is interesting because he's got money. He's got laundry manager, which is great, except he also causes terror. So there's a fine line here where I want to increase how much money I'm able to launder and we're going to start making more money. So that's a good thing. Um, so I'm probably going to end up putting him in a town, but if I put him in a town, then the terror goes up, right? And so I am going to have to constantly manage the terror with those embarrassing stories and keep doing loyalty things, which those loyalty things I'm doing probably end up costing me more 
I think over time it might be a moot point um, than you know just having him not be in town. Um, that extra 10% may not offset. I'm not entirely sure. What might be interesting though is seeing who else we can put in this spot and then potentially promoting them whoever we can get with good skills. So I'm gonna go ahead and take Tariq and give him truck supplier. That's gonna move him up to Sicario. We have all of these guys available, but um, again, I'm gonna try to see who else we can get. Now, we currently have one and a half million dollars of legal money, which means we can afford to do something like this. I don't like these two, I wanna reroll. I hit reroll for $90,000 and I get these two guys. Now we're talking. So we we have access to this guy. It's pretty useless. He has City Concert Tour. Uh, city Concert Tour says perform a concert in Salsa Club. Circus or stage. Oh, you know what? I think Nacho Libre has this skill too, or at least available later. Um, I saw this before. Circus and, or Stadion. Stadium uh, for increased loyalty. Laundering buildings and area depot in the city will be turned off for seven days. Not exactly something I want. Alvaro Ruiz. Now you have opium cultivator and cannabis cultivator in your second slot. This is going to be more useful to me in that second slot than what we had before. Just increasing yields is going to be significantly better for me. And then also there's cocoa cultivator. I could potentially get you this one as we level up as well. You have the delivery skill. I like it. Avalaro de Riz, you are recruited to our organization. 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 <laughs> I don't know. Organization. Um, all right. So let's take a look at our at our new uh, our new cartel here. So we have uh, Alvaro here. Now, of course, I can't upgrade him yet. He has to have experience under his belt in order to get promoted. We need him to actually do things so we can start him doing things. And I should have bought him over here, hired him over here. That way he could respond quicker, but we can get him to come over here and participate in this battle. Um, but in order to, I mean, obviously this battle is not going to last very long, but we're going to have plenty of battles today. Oh yes, we are because I'm going to take Molino's territory, whether he likes it or not. It's not even Molino's territory. It's just the guy who's in Molino. I'm going to take Batista's territory. Batista is going to go down. All right. We're going to take him out. He's got 19 strength. We're going to take him out and we're going to do so very quickly. So I'm going to move Polina over here. This is our going to, this is going to be our gathering point. And um, yep, Ruiz can come with us, and we'll take Nacho Libre over there, and we'll take uh, Hector. I do wish I could group these up, actually. I, Hector, I'm sorry. I need you over here. The ship has to keep shipping things. Um, we're going to move you over here. Now that I have the warehouses up and running, I don't need as much in terms of the trucks, um, or at least help with trucks. So people who have truck supplier, like they're useful, but um, it's fine. So we are going to take this guy's buildings super fast. And I like this truck supplier, but I don't need it, I think, here. So let's move you over here, too. So we're going to come through here. We're going to just light these guys up. We're going to pick a fight today, all right? Because we got tons of money, and I care a lot less <laughs> about what happens now uh, in terms of, like, you know, money getting seized and the cops being annoyed and all that stuff. I can pay them off. I've got lots of money to pay them off. Um, I am seeing also so much dried cannabis over here. I need them to ship this faster. And um, to do that, we need River Pier. So let's go ahead and get River Pier 3. And um, hopefully this allows the selling capacity on dried cannabis. It's, yeah, it's going to go up from 16 to 24. And also from the products we're shipping out, which is chicken, uh, 16 to 20, and avocados, which is 25 to 32. So all of this, all good things. Uh, and then we can also reduce the cost and stuff as well. So we're going to get River Pier 3 as our next research project. And, he and Hector's just going to stay over there for a while. Uh, he's got three three power. Um, Kumar is going to come out of the airport. No, he's got to stay there. Man, I got to ship things out of there, man. I want more lieutenants, and I have a lot. I'm probably just going to send them all to the airport at one of these times. But um, one thing I don't want to happen, though, is for the airport to get raided. And so I, I do want to get the stuff uh, before I start this adventure here. I'm going to move Kobe over here really quick. Um, we're going to move some of this product out of here. And actually, I need to probably change this to where you don't bring it to the airport anymore. 
Let's have only one of these bring it to the airport. The other one will go River Pier and the Aerodrome. And then we can also connect to this one. I'll, and then you'll bring it to those instead. So let's limit or reduce, I mean, how much we're sending to this place. And then we can go ahead and take the extra avocados that were over 58 here. And we'll bring them over to uh, this area here. This is full of, of money and, oh, and avocados. So really, it's just full of everything. So I really got to upgrade this. Hmm. Okay, well, we have 58 of these coming over. So let's just put these in the in the town for now. Um, we need we need more smuggling capacity now, which is wild because we have so much dirty money coming in, and yet we just need higher capacity. So that's why I want to take his property too, um, because it opens up the ability to use this checkpoint, which is the highest throughput you can have. You can you can send so much stuff through that checkpoint um and it's good to have this and you can see that we've actually blown through a lot of this so um maybe i can get Tariq actually who's hanging out over here for the opium or sorry for the cannabis cultivator i'm gonna have you actually bring that over um kumar i want to move you over to here we'll switch up jobs really quick here people who have really weak attack um i want alvaro to have experience so Sophia, you'll do it. You'll come over here instead. And uh, Jose, I love how you're washing money here. It's amazing, but um, I'm gonna move you over here too. I need to start moving product faster. So let's just get that done as fast as we can. And we're gonna move it over to this area here too. He got, I don't really care so much about the opium, to be honest. Um, you're carrying, your cargo capacity is actually more useful to me at the moment. And normally I wouldn't say that, but I think it actually is more useful to me now. So I'm going to bring you over to, uh, I think, yeah, the airport as well. Um, we're going to try to move as much stuff out of here as we can, as fast as we can. Um, and so I want to deliver, for example, uh, more of these products. Not with you. Oh, you left. Darn it. I was going to use your large carrier capa cargo capacity. Well, I'm going to do that same thing with you too here. I want to deliver this stuff. Um, let's just say, yeah, 145 units. I want to pop that right over here. And then you'll stay over there once you're done doing that. So, yeah. Okay, wow. This is a lot of stuff, right? It's a lot of micromanagement to do when you when you uncover a problem. But I do want to attack those guys. So, I am hoping to, to get, get done with this really quick. So, I don't... Because, okay, so here, here's the problem. And I know I'm stuttering a little bit because I'm trying to, like organize my thoughts the reason why i'm doing so much micromanagement now normally i wouldn't care um i'd be like whatever they're 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 lit up but i'm gonna do a lot of combat right now i know that these are gonna start lighting up and i don't want the police to get to get anything i can't freeze this until it's active uh so like i can freeze it fine the leftmost active star there is no active star so i don't want the police to to get things so i'm trying to make sure that we don't have any places where everything is over overdone Come on, autosave. Um, and then what I want to do is um, get significant amounts of this product, right? To just be moved. So like 44 units of it, put it to town. And so this isn't lit up anymore. And then uh, hopefully this can be upgraded right now. We could just do that. So hopefully that's not going to be lit up anymore. And so we, we have that happening. We get stuff being built um, eventually too. This isn't in the building queue yet because it hasn't been delivered the money yet. Um, and that's fine. So all this money that comes through, uh, then the airport and whatever, we'll have that. Yeah, moving through here. How come you're not? What? Oh, right. I remember. Yeah, duh. Um, they attacked me while I was doing it. They attacked here and I uh, defended it. But then, yeah, that happened. So, uh, okay. So we've got you three. I want your large capacity to bring this product with avocados yeah i'm gonna have you bring like 80 units and you're gonna bring it over here and when you're done you'll just sit here i think that's better so that we can send it out of the seaport the seaport is becoming very valuable to me because it's a smuggling point that accepts so much stuff it's great i just have to make sure that none of my buildings are red and i think we're probably good now hector come back over yeah, I want Colby fighting. He's got high attack, so get over here. And Hector is three attack. I'm gonna move you back over here. You're just doing so well managing this pier, you know? 
you're just doing such a great job. And I want you to keep doing that great job that you're doing. Okay. I think we're ready then to, to fight this. So what we'll do is we'll let Tariq and stuff keep doing what he's doing. But we're going to go ahead and attack this area. I want to take these chemical plants away from him. And um, I, I want him to just not have them anymore. So we're going to start with Capo, Lead by example. And we're also going to move Amarantha over to this one. And then what I'm going to do is... Oh, not Amarantha. Ooh, not there. Oh, I should have moved... Okay, hang on. We'll put Kamar here. Amarantha is going to move over to a different one. But what I want to do is I want to see which one do they respond to. And then we'll pile everyone on that one to defend it while the other ones take the other building. So we're kind of going to take all three. So Amarantha... Can I pause, please? Thank you. Um, I want to see which one you're going to defend. Uh, it's the first one where Capo is. Okay. Are you defending all three? No way. You can't defend all three. I don't believe you. All right, everybody go to here. And we will take this very fast. And Maranta is going to come over and do that too. All right. This is the one they're responding to. They can only respond to one at a time from what I can tell. I've done this before where I attack multiple points. And um, they can only respond to one at a time. So if I defend this successfully, they're going to be like, oh, no, we didn't get there. They'll go all the way back to town before they launch again. And um, so what I'm hoping is I just grab this super quick. Colby, go get this one. Oh, wait, we have 18. I need you to actually go to the other one. Yeah, I need Kumar to come over here real quick. Yeah, there we go. So they will take this and they'll be like, oh no, we have to we have to go around. We can't do this. All right, and then before they can get back, I want to go and take this one now. Before they can get back to town. So let's go over here, put everybody into this building really quick. And I'll have you help out on this one a little bit. So they're gonna go back with their tail between their legs. But they won't again, they won't respond because we're already attacking them too quickly. They have to go all the way back to town before they can launch again. All right, good. So there's that. And then we're going to go ahead and grab this one. Okay. Go ahead and do that. This star is active. So I'm going to go ahead and see about getting some help on freezing that leftmost star. So I don't have to deal with it. Um, freeze the leftmost star. And I want to do that with you and say $10,000 of legal money. I'm going to lose loyalty by doing this. But I can freeze that star. Now that effect won't happen. Um, and then to counteract that, we'll just do some charity stuff. It's fine. Okay, so we'll take this building now, too. We don't have to worry about the cops. He got, I want you to probably just stay there after you're done delivering. All right, they are coming to that one. Beautiful. Okay, super well executed. Let's go and get and free them from this one. And also free this up and free this up. Now they're going to try to defend this. But it's already taken. So I actually don't know if they can take it back. Oh, they may be able to take that back. I don't know yet. We'll see. I've never actually left the site before they arrived before. So this will be a good test. Good. Uh, and then I want to pile everybody in. And we're just going to start taking this other stuff too. But first I want to see what happens over here. Okay, they can, they can take it back immediately. Okay. I wasn't sure, but now I we got confirmation now. So this is good, though, because this fight ultimately leads to them losing more people, losing more strength. And that's what I want to see. So tomorrow, go that way. And um, we're going to leave, I think, Ruiz in here. It's a two-strength place. Um, so I can't leave Ruiz. I'll leave Capo there, and we'll hang, everybody go here. Capo can continue taking the village while we do this. Okay, now what I want to do, I've got this kind of worked out as a system, so to speak, here. So what I'd like to do now is, I can't ask you for a favor, but um, I'd like to, you know what, actually, let them, let them do the roadblock. It's fine. Um, we just got to make sure we do something before the DEA is disrupting us. Um, we're going to take and do the charity event here. That's going to get respect going up a little bit. I also want to purchase, if possible, some more avocados over here. We'll just do this with legal money really quick. And then I also want to purchase a little bit more chicken over here. The dirty money is good. We'll do that like right here. And then also just a tad bit more avocados over here too. So we're just going to get our loyalty rising up a little bit here. And we're going to start winning this fight now. 24 to 12. Kappa will take the village. 
they're gonna close down a road and it's the one I'm not even using that's just fantastic I don't care about the bridge so yeah you close down that bridge you do that you go right ahead and close that bridge all you want it's only this one I care about so that leftmost star is the most annoying one and then obviously we don't want the DEA but we'll have enough uh we'll have enough loyalty to go ahead and trigger that so they lose strength again and this is okay we're gonna keep hitting them keep taking it right now all in one go I'm gonna have actually you go ahead and take the coffee field directly everybody else can pile onto here the cool thing about them losing strength now is that I don't need Paulina to defend this anymore I think everybody can just move to a single building and they won't be able to do anything about it I don't think I need Paulina in this group and I'm hoping that they go ahead and try to attack here and they're out out they come and they have 11 strength so we will just flat beat this now so while they're trying to defend this i can have kumar go over here and do this Ta -da! <laughs> this is great we're just gonna take melina out i don't I, i'm just really annoyed by them i don't want it anymore and i also really want that checkpoint that's the only reason to do this is because i really want the checkpoint so we're gonna stay here and fight them Yep, they're just going to run away with their tail between their legs. Good. Let's go here. And then also, Colby, you're going to move this way. And Capo's going to move this way. Pause really quick. Capo's going to go that way. Take the residence. And I think we should probably be able to clear all of these. Maybe we'll have uh, Alvaro. Uh, yeah, no, we'll, just, we'll just do that. Okay, now we're getting very close to DEA territory, right? So what I want to do is go into one of my places here. Ask it for a favor. And we'll say ease the terror and we'll go ahead and pay for that with the sacrifice of our of our loyalty terror drops and we continue to hit we just keep hitting them this makes the game more interesting <laughs> combat's always interesting where are you going yes good defend get that i want to make you weaker anyway off you go all right that means paulina is now free to take the checkpoint I was hoping that they'd do that. Take the checkpoint. Good. So I want them, I basically, I wanted them to attack a place where I was already fighting so that Paulina was, you know, free to do whatever. So now they are, they own like nothing in their area. And then the last thing we do then after this is done is we just take them out of Molino. That's it. We don't have to deal with them anymore. Hopefully we get the respect from the other, the other gangs. They'll look at us and say, oh man, I don't want to mess with them. <laughs> I hope so anyway $86,000 coming into the cargo port wow so worth it super good um, now he got is kind of useless over here he's not needed here so I'm gonna actually bring you back and go like this and just get you right back in that area it's fine um, we only need we only have two slots on the seaport I could research I think I can get another one uh, yeah seaport I can get another terminal that would allow me to sell more um but the other thing i didn't bother doing was reducing the cost here um that was my bad i could have been saving hundreds of dollars a day right but unfortunately i did not call geico <laughs> 15 minutes could have saved me 15 percent or more on this <laughs> it's actually yeah 15 percent about a little bit more than that yeah, yeah it could have saved me money on the seaport but i didn't do it it's okay we're gonna get it uh we'll take care of it once this research here is done okay so we're all set here paulina go take the city now the city is 17 strength so we can't take it right away but 19 to 14 that means capo can move and as soon as this is done boom now everybody can go join paulina in town everybody go pile onto them no west no rest for this wicked right here everyone go get in there and let's fight the town we're just gonna completely overpower aggressiveness just more aggressiveness than they were ever prepared to handle there you go now of course the terror is gonna go back up so we need to do some charity stuff to bring up the respect so i'm gonna go ahead and ping it with this casino and also this casino so we'll double dip that really quick and I think probably a good idea to take a look at these buildings. What are you doing right now? You don't have enough dried cannabis. Are you kidding me? Really? Even with this plantation active? 
That's impressive. Um, okay. I will switch this field to cannabis, and I'll switch this field to cannabis. Okay. See if we can get you any more. I mean, it probably needs to be local, right? I think that's probably what it is. Let me, um, yeah, you know, that's probably, that's, I, I bet that's exactly what it is. Let me get a level three plantation, and I'm going to put that, I was going to put it like right here, and then just have it brought in from the warehouses, right? That's probably a good thing. We can bring it in like this, but I, I kind of want to make sure there's a road that goes between these. So can I get a road between these? Right here. Will you will you allow this to happen? Negative. So I'd have to go around that way. Uh, well, it's not the worst thing in the world. Maybe I can place it here instead. It's so big, though. That's the problem. If I did it down here, it would technically be better for the workflow because it's the, the 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 stuff just needs to be gathered by the warehouse uh so I, I think i'm gonna place it here actually and we'll make sure that it's set for cannabis right away and we'll just place it right here it's 30 percent though nowhere else i can place this ah uh, I, I didn't think i'd need this much maybe i could start getting stuff over here but i really didn't think i need this much cannabis but here we are uh ooh. Hey, maybe right here would be cool. All I need to do is move this road. I know I'm taking you out of the action, huh? Your immersion. I know it's failing. I get it. It's fine. We're going to fix it. Don't worry. Just imagine that that fight is taking a really long time over there. And because we're really far away from it, we can't hear it anymore. All right. That's all you have to do. Just use imagination. You really won't fit here, huh? What is it about this location that triggers you is it just the i think it's the village i can't tell um the plantation really should be generating a ton of it but uh apparently it's not generating nearly as much as i want well i have to dry it anyway right so maybe we no i want it to be closer to here because there's fertility here i think it's that road i think it's this road i'm gonna just see what happens if i take this road away and um, honestly, let's just take this road away for a second. We can make this road go closer. Take this away for a bit. I just want to see if this is the, the deal. All right, put this plantation right here. Notice I don't have the option to do level one and two. I skipped right over them, totally intentionally. Did not want them anymore. I think it's the village. Oh, there is a spot right here. Okay, so with that road being gone, it will let me place this. I just have to be a little bit more precise. Right about here. Right there. Okay. Place this at 60%. That's what I was looking for. Go back a little bit further so I can get that road in. Oh, that's beautiful. It actually will fit right there. No, autosave. I was about to click. Don't do it to me. I think I'll just turn it off. If there's a way to turn off the autosave, I'm just going to do it. I should have done it a long time ago, but it's one of those things where like, what if I have something happens to my computer? I don't want to like lose the footage. And you know, the, the very day I turn it off is the day that thing happens, right? It's the way it always goes. So I don't know. Maybe I won't turn it off after all. Maybe I'll just suck it up and stop complaining. Yeah, probably the better. I bet people would like that better, right? Wouldn't you like that better if I just sucked it up and stopped complaining? I bet you would. I know you guys. You're you're always the first to tell me when I'm complaining too much. Whiner Charlie. Activate activate whiner mode. Uh let's put up this way. Can I can I have a road go Oh, I would love a road to go up there. Connect like that? That'd be great. Well, it won't let me do it, unfortunately. Yeah, the, the city's too the, the village is too close. This must be just enough space, you know? Okay, so let's move, remove that road. We don't need it. And that's it. So we let that build. We let do its thing. This residence has a direct route into here, which is what we needed. And then um, I want to redo this road to take it that direction like that. And then we're going to need another dryer in this area now because we have that plantation and it's going to be kind of wicked to deal with that. So level two dryer. And if it lets me place... I really wish it would. No. How about here? 
No. It's just, everything's just too, super close together. It's really close to this village. I'll just place it over here. It's probably not that big of a deal. Uh, okay, dirty money, dirty money. Everything is good. Everything is good. Let's go back to the, to the action. Over here. We're currently fighting at 26 strength to 16. Respect is climbing. God damn, man. We almost have a million dollars in dirty money sitting around, too. I, I can't wash it fast enough. I told you. Uh, okay. Cordon has been removed from the Los Grandes region. That was over here. I did that already. Wow, that, that alert was late. Okay. We took out the entirety of Molino before they got back to their, <laughs> their base. That's funny. Um, did we get the research for this yet? So close. So close. Um, there's also a researcher perk, if anyone's curious. I'm letting the time run now, by the way. I'm not, I'm not pausing it anymore. Um, there's a researcher perk that if you place them in the university, they'll reduce your, your research time even more. All you have to do is have them sit in here. Um, obviously, I don't have that. And I find it to be a little underwhelming, mostly, but it's there. Can we talk about this? I don't I don't see the the progress on the battle in this area. I have to click the city in order to see the progress, which is unfortunate. But here we are, four days left. Four day battle. Tariq. I'm gonna have you stop your your trip, which is awesome. I like your trip, but I think I'm gonna have you stop that trip so that you can help out over here if you could. So yep, just come on over. Come on over and help out. Yep. Let's make this go faster. Father, Father Jose, you can come help too, okay? Um, there's not as much to do at the airport anymore. We've kind of redirected everything to be flying out of here now. Wow! That was a cool zoom, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, wanted everything to fly out of here now, so let's make sure that we're flying out of here, I guess. Um, I guess I can allow everything, but I'd rather just allow nothing but these goods because plane space is limited, right? This is Aerodrome 2 as well, which is, um, I mean, I kind of want to use it, but I mean, avocados, man, we got to send avocados here. All right. I think any spare avocados will go out. Uh, any spare avocados will go to the plane. I, I think it's got to happen. We just have too many avocados. And then these, ha these haven't popped yet, right? No, they are cannabis. They just don't look the same as the other cannabis fields. Yeah, they still look like the avocado fields. But supposedly... Oh, no, they haven't switched yet. Okay. Well, when the plantation hits, hopefully that'll be taken care of. And we can roll this stuff super fast, hopefully. We'll see. Uh, okay. How are we doing here? Oh, stop. We got to do another sp story about ourselves. I do not want the DEA on my ass. So let's go like this. And we'll say, hey, ease the terror, please. And they'll be like, I have an embarrassing story. And I'll be like, that's fine. And then she'll go ahead and do it. And nobody cares. And now we will be able to take Molino without ever having involved the DEA. And uh, maybe not even getting another road blocked. And with this one blocked, I don't have to worry about it. Here is decreasing thanks to the mayor. Very good. Okay, now I have one more favor, so I, I can still I can still do it again if I need to, but I'm pretty sure this will be over before that happens. And then Batista, good riddance to you, sir. Meth dealer, hey, you know, that would have been pretty cool to have, actually. Um, make a deal, cultivator, meth dealer. Oh, well. <laughs> I've got my own people for this now. Goodbye. Gang has been subjugated. Ta da It's ours now. Now we can talk to the mayor directly. Isn't that nice? Bye, Batista. Um, let's put you here. Put you over here. Uh, let's get Polina. You're good now, but the only threat we're going to have is from this general direction over here now. So I'm going to have you sit in that. Um, Colby is going to go back over. Uh... Yeah, I think you're going to go back over here in this city for the Peacemaker. We'll have you come over here for the trucks. 
Uh, we'll have you go back to the airport for the cargo. You're got you got experience now. That's good. Um, I might have you on some delivery routes over here. So let's put you there. Uh, Father Jose, you're going back to that bank right there. That's your that's your home. You live there. And then Tariq will get you to move back over to this area to help with trucks. Um, I actually think I'll probably end up putting you on that warehouse instead to help with trucks. Okay, good. So let's see what the mayor wants. Alamagro Torres, mayor of Molino, stands to, to greet his guest beckoning to a pulled chair. Please, make yourself comfortable. We have much to discuss. There's nothing to discuss, Torres. Taking control of Molino, and that's all there is, okay? Jeez. Gosh. You think this is some kind of negotiation or something? So quick to temper. You remind me of my brother. Please. Won't you? He beckons again to the chair. The capo reluctantly accommodates. When I was young, mi padre y madre had a business manufacturing electronics and exporting them to the United States. It was enough to put food in our bellies and smiles on our faces. But then, one day, and without warning, their business partner in the States just disappeared. Torres motions a puff of smoke with his hands. Food stopped arriving on the table, but we still had our smiles until he called. Finally, a few cracks start to appear in the edges of the mayor's mouth. He told them he had a partner in the States who would pay much more than their previous partner. It wasn't long before they found out why. He tore our family apart. Mi madre stopped in, stayed in Rogandes. I came with mi padre to Molino. He ran an honest business right up until the day he died. And then, well, the business is not what it once was. A vicious gang occupies our border checkpoint. Not anymore. I am uh, failing as both a mayor to this region and as a son. And you want my help to put it right? Be my sword. And in return, you will have all of our beautiful region has to offer. There. And you said there was nothing to discuss, eh? So that's it. Um, recapture the checkpoint. Pretty sure I did that. So done. Mayor, launder $30,000 of dirty money into legal money through the banks only. That's going to happen super fast. Um, another one of these will be to get rid of the gangs in the rest of the region. Uh, I will have done that already. And um, after that, I have no idea. Probably give him money to you know, pay him off is basically what it probably will end up being. Uh, looks to like we don't have enough trucks here again. Tariq. I have a new job for you. Actually, you know what? You're just as capable of doing it. Get over here. Um, so there's just a, not enough trucks in this transport company. I've really got to get that happening. Um, so I want to deliver all the stuff with avocados. Just bring it over to this right over here. There's just not enough. Look at all this. <laughs> Look at this, man. I cannot wash it fast enough. This is absolutely nuts. I mean, I love it. But it's crazy, you know? Um, let's say, is there a transport company upgrade I could do real quick? That would help me a lot, actually. Warehouse, transport company three. This will bring us to six connections total and five trucks, plus I have that. And this actually reduces the maintenance on this. So that's good. I'm gonna do this first and then this because this affects me right away with my warehouses. So we'll hit this, then this. And, uh, and and then we'll work our way up into getting more trucks for transport companies because I need them. But I think in the meantime, what might help me here, it's a pretty easy fix, honestly, is just to have another one, right? We just um, we put in another one in here. You let me do that? No? Come on. Okay, I'll do it on this side of the road. It's fine. Just as long as it's in range for dirty money distribution, and indeed it is. So that'll be very good. All right. So it looks to me like uh, everything is running smoothly over here. We still have one with chicken, and that's okay. He's got 204 chicken left to go. Um, and that can be brought over here too. Vegetables is the suspicious good, even though I haven't actually delivered any vegetables here in a very long time. So with 78 grand done, um, nacho, 
I think uh, I think you've done an okay job so far. So we're gonna have you come all the way over here to the transport company, and then I want you to come over here so that the residence has another truck. You two are just gonna, you know, ride the boat. There you go. All right, this connection go here, and then I wish there was like a copy paste, but there isn't. I can just do it manually. Say none, and then do this. Okay. Apparently, I did a transport company one by mistake. Okay, let's upgrade it. Uh, it's, it's it's thing. The default is that. So when you want one, it just it just happens. And if you don't manually select it, then it is what it is. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and also upgrade this one. And I want to get additional connections so that these transport companies can deliver to the other one. So we'll also go ahead and do this too. Should give us extra trucks to bring things to the airports and stuff. Uh, we are getting money wasted here. You'll notice that there's sometimes you'll see money flying out of this building. Um, it's because it's super full. We don't have enough storage space for it. We just have so much dirty money in storage at the moment that there's not really a whole lot I could do with it aside from just saying, hey, let's go ahead and deliver the cash to, I don't know, the city and we'll just bring it into town. I mean, that's the only thing you can do and it's a real drag. Um, I do wish I could store more. And there is research to add storage space to residences, but I've already done that. It's not until I get to residence three where that's gonna matter. Um, I could build another residence, of course, but we've already talked about how removing the building limit might have also broke the balance already. So I'd rather not exacerbate that problem. So I am gonna limit myself to just having like one residence in an area, even if it is just the pathos one, I will. Okay. Third task for this guy says, sell some units of uh, televisions through the checkpoint in the region. Buy and sell 50 units televisions through Molino checkpoint. You can find it in any area depot city. So what I can do here is I, I don't need to package things with the television, but I, I can. Um, I just need to sell 50 units of, for televisions. So what I'll do is we'll go to Los Grandes because we have this still, I haven't replaced it yet. It's the televisions we have to purchase. Now, I want to also remove the connection we have with the with this. I don't want this to be going to the prison anymore. I don't need to go into the pier. What I needed you to do is to go all the way over to here now and just send the televisions directly through the checkpoint here. I could package it with product instead. So if I was going to do that, I guess what I could do is maybe deliver... Um, oh, I can't choose a warehouse. Well, I could deliver it here, but that does not, that doesn't help me package it. I can't target a warehouse for this. I guess that'd be like a warehouse targeting a warehouse. So maybe that's why that's unfortunate. All right. We'll just send it directly then. It's not a big deal. Uh, where the heck did it go right there? All right. So checkpoint Molino. And then all we'll do is just buy it. And the televisions should just, you know, start moving towards Molino now, hopefully. Um, if they don't, then we'll package it up with cannabis and that'll be great. Uh, Monolito is back. Monolito, he wants to help hurt me again. He hasn't learned his lesson yet. He wants to drive the terror up. Yep, there is the save. Okay. Um, he's going for this plantation again. Really? You just haven't learned your lesson, huh? What's your strength now? Uh, 17. Okay, Paulina's almost half that. Um, we want you to get some more experience so I can upgrade you. So go over there. Uh, we'll have Capo come in and assist. And then Colby can go assist. I think that's enough, but just in case it isn't... Um, Kumar, you're not busy. You can go over here too. I think that's all we need to defend against this. Uh, my math might be fuzzy, but I'm pretty sure that's over 17. Um, yeah. Not to mention the building comes with one. I could get more than that, but I haven't gotten that research and I probably wouldn't anyway, because these are plantation ones. I would get research for plantation, like a higher plantation if I did. All right, that's 18 already. So that's already gonna win, but Kumar is gonna come in and just, you know, drive in the nail there. And that'll be defense. So um, guys, I think as you can see, we're doing pretty well here. Um, when we come back for the next one, we're going to take control of Molino by making sure that we've sold enough uh, stuff through this. We can see we turned on the checkpoint now. So 
Now the televisions will leave the sound. That wasn't happening before because we didn't need them to. So now the avocados are going to the checkpoint as well. All those spare avocados. Oh my God, there's so many of them. <laughs> well, I guess we'll do that too, whatever. But the televisions are going as well. That's the important thing. Yeah, five out of eight on that. Okay, so we'll sell those through there. We'll take control of Molino and we'll start defending ourselves against Amato over here, I guess. Um, he has no... Well, he, I guess he has the River Pier for smuggling points, which is not bad. Um, but really, he's just going to be an annoyance for a while. What I'm glad hasn't happened yet is Rogandes has not gotten with me yet. And actually, I'll probably talk to this guy because just so I can keep him off my back. He's 23 strength, so... I'd like to probably make him a little happier. Same thing with this guy. If I could just make these two happy with me, I think I would I would like that better. And that way I don't have to deal with them. Um, this guy's a 17. He's more manageable. So anyway, that's for another day. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate you. I hope that we'll see you next time. Look at all these avocados. My God. <laughs> Actually, here, right before I leave, I'll show you. What we'll do is this. We'll get that other slot for the seaport that I've been missing and um and then we can get you know Nacho to come in there or Tariq or whatever to just come in there and and then that will send the product he has cannabis cultivator he technically does hit this though these two are technically being affected but kind of whatever um notice also that they're managed by uh clean money because I'm limited on my connections here but if I upgrade this residence which is doable then i can select multiple points and i can start managing these with dirty money too so maybe i'll do that as well it's probably worth it i'll hit the button all right guys thanks for watching i appreciate you we'll see you next time bye bye